Hello, I'm Meredith McGeehee of the Campaign Legal Center. A lot of things made people glad to see the end of the 2012 elections. The back and forth, the accusations, the endless TV ads. Of course, many of those ads were paid for by super PACs and the so-called dark money groups that don't disclose their donors. The law requires these new groups to be wholly, truly, and totally independent from candidates and parties. That's to protect against corruption and the appearance of corruption that large amounts of money can bring. But in reality, the whole thing is a farce. The Federal Election Commission doesn't enforce the law. Instead, it takes an Orwellian approach in defining independence versus coordination, turning the concept on its head. That's important because coordinated money is treated like a contribution. Then there are limits on where the money can come from and how much can be spent. There are no limits of any kind on independent money. So what did we see in 2012? Super PACs run or funded by candidates' fathers, mothers, siblings, ex-campaign lawyers, fundraisers, and former employees. Candidates traveled with people who provided 90% or more of the funding for the super PAC supporting them. Candidates appeared at super PAC events and even solicited money for them. Governor Romney referred to Restore Our Future as my super PAC. This is a far cry from the independence the court has repeatedly required. So what to do? It's time for a new FEC. After all, five of the six commissioners' terms have expired. It's time for President Obama to nominate new FEC commissioners who believe in the laws they have sworn to uphold. We have three commissioners who have stated they oppose current statutes. They are doing everything in their power to sabotage the law, often by bringing the agency to a standstill. This status quo is undermining our democracy. It's time for real enforcement. The health of our nation depends on it. I'm Meredith McGeehee. Hope to see you again soon.